Welcome. We continue our Learning Layers DevOps webinar series with presenting the development and continuous integration strategies and tools used by our project. This video is mainly dedicated to developers as the GitHub and Jenkins are mainly tools used during the implementation and testing phase, but it is also interesting from the operations perspective regarding continuous integration and deployment. In previous webinars, we traversed the idea and needs and co-design circle parts of the DevOps use lifecycle. We have seen how users can collect requirements and how can improvements, features and issues be reported with tools like Requirements Bazaar and Jira. This webinar is dedicated to the specific agile development tools used in learning layers that ensure a smooth collaborative software development process and integration, automation and testing of our software products. We address the develop and test phases as highlighted in the DevOps use cycle. We present GitHub, a modern source code repository highly used in open source development, and Jenkins, a leading open source continuous integration server. This webinar assumes previous knowledge about the Git protocol, what GitHub is, and how distributed revision control and source code management can be achieved using GitHub. Likewise, we will not go into details about Jenkins, as we want to focus on the learning layers DevOps strategy rather than giving detailed tutorials about the two tools. Git offers a distributed and local approach for source code management. As such, users can keep a local copy of a repository and push changes to the distributed version. It encourages branching and is suitable to agile development. GitHub is a repository that offers hosting solutions for code and it is free for open source projects. Learning Layers code is publicly hosted in GitHub within the Learning Layers organization. The individual tools and projects are listed as individual repositories within this organization. For each repository, visitors can browse through the code and see the number of commits, the contributors, and the project branches and releases. As such, third-party developers can easily check out the learning layers code and observe the change history. Moreover, using GitHub releases, code from a certain stage of the prototype development can be checked out. The whole process increases transparency and street credibility and invites to active participation and contributions from the open source community to existing functionality. In order to increase communication between developers and the degree of integration inside the project, we follow a Git branching model already agreed upon between open source developers, following discussions of successful practice on Stack Overflow, and which can be seen in the figure. This model has been part of a blog post from 2010 and proposes basically two main branches, master and develop. One can also create new branches when these are needed for various purposes such as feature requests, releases and hotfixes. The idea is that the develop branch should always build and that developers can ask the team members early for help. Merging the spin-off branches into the more stable ones such as develop or master is made via pull requests. When a new branch should be merged into the develop or master branch, a new pull request should be issued. A good practice is to ask the team to review and integrate pull requests. This serves as a communication mechanism among the code developers and encourages code reviews as also other project members can browse through the code before it is integrated into common branches. The pull request mechanism also makes it possible for third-party developers that are not members of the Layers organization to contribute with code to existing Layers repositories. The screenshot shows how a pull request can be merged from one branch, uh, in this case the improvement branch, into the integration branch. The improvement branch consists of one commit and upon pressing the merge pull request button, uh, the changes will be integrated into the integration branch. Open source processes are designed to cope with multi-site continuous integration and delivery of open source products. Continuous integration describes processes that automatically build and test software. In general, software artifacts need to be automatically and regularly built and tested such that involved stakeholders can be immediately notified if any issue occurs. Moreover, the compiled code is available to be eventually automatically deployed and can therefore be used further in the DevOps use lifecycle. For such integration purpose, all learning layers projects are available under Jenkins, a popular continuous integration server often used in free and open source communities for quality assurance. Jenkins offers automatic build and testing functionalities 
based on open github hosted code interface for comprised projects and various integration levels it can build projects on demand or based on a predefined schedule such as build every night and can generate reports particularly upon failures and communicate them via email to subscribed users certain actions can be triggered automatically based on the success or failure of builds or tests the Jenkins dashboard, also accessible from the Layers Open Developer Library, outputs all integrated open source Layers projects that are built from an existing GitHub repository. This list shows a subset of the current projects that are built using Jenkins. The corresponding signs, such as the sun, point to whether the project has built successfully or any problems occurred. The next set of symbols show if a project currently is in the building state or has already been built. On the right, time information about when the projects were last built successfully and uh, when they have failed and how much time the build process took are presented. Finally, the rightmost icon allows to start the build process given the user has the necessary rights. In this webinar, we presented Jenkins and GitHub, two open source tools that are very important for the layers development tasks, as well as for the DevOps use life cycles, as it will be shown also in the upcoming webinars. We provide two exercises along with this webinar, allowing you to get accustomed with the layers code on GitHub and experience the continuous integration by interacting with the Jenkins deployment. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for our next webinar, which showcases the deployment of the layers tools for small and large scale environments and how the operation stage of our methodology is brought to life.